everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today it is the first part of the trailer that I've made for the Volkswagen Beetle that I showed you the last time. It is the Overland Bug. You can see all the parts on my channel. Right now I'm checking this part here and it is going to be the base of my trailer. It belonged to an old car I had and now I'm just using or reusing this piece for the project today. Like most of my builds I start with the base and the primary structure of the car or in this case the trailer that I'm going to uh, produce and the first task today is going to be uh, creating the frame for this trailer with suspension as the customer of this uh, car and set requested me to do. Like on the previous build on the bug, here I have also made the special bracket that is going to allow the wheel to travel up and down. If you wonder what kind of wheels I'm using on today's trailer build, they are the same wheels that I've used on my previous build and they were taken from a Maisto off-road vehicle of some sort. Although the real-life car and the trailer do not share the same diameter wheels, we've decided, and I mean me and Jamie, which is the owner of the real-life car and he ordered this car from me, we decided that I can use the same wheels front and back because they really look better. Okay, so after seeing that everything is in perfect line, I'm dropping these drops of glue and I'm securing this bracket in place and then I can move to the next step which is um, mounting the spring which is going to act as a suspension part for this trailer. Like the previous build I'm using this measuring tape piece and it is going to act as the leaf spring for the axle. I'm going to build a special box for this part and the main problem with this piece that since the trailer is very short I'm going to have to make some tricks in order to make this part as long as possible because if I will make it too short then the spring will be too stiff. Now for the towing arm, I'm just using this piece of metal plate and I'm shaping it to the right length and shape. It's going to be a little bit different from the original design of Jamie and the reason I'm doing this change is because on my little trailer there is this 
box that contains the spring and it makes the shape a little bit different. Now I've noticed that I've made a little mistake because the piece needs to have this break somewhere um, in the middle. So I've made a new piece and this time I hope it will look just the same as Jamie's trailer. Right about moving to the next step, I have to check the car with the trailer and to see if everything is in the right shape and proportions. And yeah, it seems to be okay. You can notice that I've used some screws in order to make the connection between the pieces as strong as I can. Now moving on to the next step and is to create the primary box section of this trailer. I really don't know what's inside this part here in real life but I can only assume that um, there is a refrigerator inside or maybe um, portable kitchen stuff. Um, anyhow, back to the build. I'm trying to shape this box as accurate as I can and then I will uh, try to make a cover on top of it.
Okay, so now I can see the cover is in place and I've already made a place for the cage that I'm going to add. Obviously it will not happen today because this video is already too long and originally it was in about 40 or 50 minutes but I had to make it a little bit faster and now I'm creating a part that will cover the spring here and as I told you I don't want this spring to be visible at all. Next piece is going to be the steps on each side of the trailer. One of them is holding the um, spare gas tank and I'm using this Dremel in order to shape these pieces to the right length and size. Okay, so that is about that for today and I will see you soon on the next part of this video which will be in a few days and I will show you the completion of this trailer which turned out to be a very very nice looking trailer. So thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.